Hello and welcome to John Can Fix Anything. Today I'm going to show you how to change out a brake light bulb on a 2013 Mercedes C300 4Matic. So if you want to know how to change one of these out in your Mercedes, stay tuned. Before we get started on the project, as I do with all my videos, make sure you're wearing personal protective equipment. Most cases, that's probably a good pair of safety glasses. In other cases, it could be as simple as wearing a good pair of plastic gloves, rubber gloves, or whatever the case may be. But in any case, make sure you wear your PPE. All right, we're getting ready to get started. Now, what you're gonna need for this project is very, very simple. You're going to need a 7506, and this is in the Sylvania, uh, bulb replacement. This is the replacement for one of the brake light bulbs. Now, if it's just a regular running light bulb, then it's gonna be a different number, but we are changing out the back brake light bulb, and that is a 7506. Now, most of the Sylvanias come with two. I know you're only gonna need one, but eventually the, another one will burn out and you'll, you'll need the second one. So go ahead and just keep it around after you've uh, replaced the burned out one, just find a safe place for it and go ahead and keep that extra bulb. The next thing that I always use that is not necessarily needed is bulb grease. Okay, I use the bulb grease. I like to make sure I coat them with the bulb grease, get a better, it gives you just a better connection all around. And also, uh, you won't get any corrosion on your, on your bulb or your socket as well. So, I mean, these are like a dollar at AutoZone or you know, your local parts store. So I do recommend the bulb grease and you go ahead and pick that up. There's enough in here probably to do, um, a half a dozen or more bulbs. So, you know, just cut the tip of it off, just use what you need and then hang the rest of it up and use it for later. Now, this is strictly for a 2013 and that's for the models W204 from about uh, 2011 to 2014. That's basically what I'm going to cover here. Now, there are some models that can go earlier than that and there's some models that can go later than that past 2014 you get into the new style uh, C300 which has a different style of lens in the back so it's got a different bracket different lens I think maybe the bulbs are still the same but it's an entirely different process if you go to 2010 and further back then you've got a whole lamp system that's a little longer a little bit more narrow and it has a completely different inside uh, um, it's like a bracketing that I'll show you in the video when we go out into the garage. But this one really is um, set up and works really well for the 2011 to 2014. And with that, uh, we'll head out to the garage and we'll get started. The C300 is a very, very smart car, uh, especially the later models, uh, starting in 2012 all the way up to the new ones. So when you have a any type of a bulb go out on your um, brake system, lamp system, running lights, anything, you're gonna actually see this come up on your screen right here, um, right below your speedometer. It's a, this one in particular says, check right tail and brake lamps. So it will even be very specific and tell you which lamps you need to go look at. Uh, the best way to do it is just go ahead and grab a friend and go around to the back of the vehicle and have them put their foot on the brake and then you can be specific on which brake lamps out. On the rear of the 2013 there are two uh, lamps for braking and one lamp for the running light. So in my particular case I have one out on the uh, back left so that's the one we're going to change out. But there's the message and this will be up for the same if you've got a front lamp out you've got a front running light out or even a, a fog light the Mercedes 300 will tell you exactly what's going on and even tell you where to go and search for it so now that you've seen that I'll go ahead and head around back and we'll show you how to get to the bolt okay I've got the trunk opened up for all the model Mercedes that we're dealing with here for this particular um, bulb change you have to go through the uh, trunk so the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and open your trunk up and uh, depending on whether it's your right side or the left side you're going to have an access panel that you see right here you're going to have to go through that ac access panel so I'm going to go ahead and reposition the light and then I'll show you what to do uh, once you get into the panel 
Okay, we're all set up on the panel now. So what you do to have access to the panel is, is you just turn the panel switch down and then it's got a couple of tabs on the bottom of it. It just pulls straight up and out and then there's your, there's your access panel. You can just go ahead and put it along the side. Then right behind it on the uh, right side of the vehicle, the passenger side of the vehicle, uh, this has a fuse box on it which controls almost all of your uh, lighting and, and several other uh, power processes for your car or happen to be back behind this. There's also another one underneath the uh, driver's uh, door and there's also one underneath the hood. But this is uh, one of the major ones for the 300C is right here. Now we're going to be going back into the back here and I'm going to get into position better and put a smaller camera in there and show you exactly what the uh, uh, what it looks like and, and how we have to snap that particular cover off and get to those bulbs. But this is the access panel. This is what it looks like behind it. And then we're heading right in there. And then I'm going to show you how to take that bracket off. Okay, I've uh, repositioned myself the best I can. I've uh, switched to my iPhone 6 with a wide angle lens on it so I can get in here. This is pretty tight in here. I've put as much light as I can in here. So this is the actual bracket that holds your light assembly on to your lens on the outside. This is the inside and then it holds uh, your lights up into the actual lens itself. So if you'll see, there's a snap right here and there's a snap right on the other side. There's two snaps. And this one also has a, uh, I think that's been added, but anyway, that looks like they've got a, a tie, zip tie there, uh, which doesn't need to be moved. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to grab this. I'm going to try not to pull my light out there. Let me do it with the other hand. And we're just going to grab these two clips and just pull them out like that. And that's all there is to it. You're just going to take and pull that out. And you'll, you'll notice on top, right up here, there is a connector for the for the uh, light bulbs. They can or don't have to take that connector off. I think it's up to you. You, can just, you know, I can just get it out like this, and I can I can actually get to all the bulbs from right here, and I don't have to take anything apart. Okay. Now that's up to you if you want to do that or not. Okay. Um, but if you want to, you can also go ahead and you can unhook that one. You can also unhook this one right here. Okay, and you can just pull that whole bracket off. But it is a pain in the butt, plus you gotta cut a bunch of other stuff off. But you can get to all three of the bulbs right here, just like this. Okay, and this particular bulb right here in front of us is the one that's bad for me. So all you have to do is just uh, push in and twist this bulb. Okay, and you can see that that bulb's bad. It's got a bad burn spot on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab the other bulb and I'll swap this out real quick. Okay, I've got the new bulb. Uh, this is the new Sylvania bulb. And it is a little bit of a bluish tint to it instead of the clear like the original. But this is the bulb. Then what I do is I'll take a little bit of the bulb grease and I'll just put it in my fingers and I'll just wipe it around just so that I make sure I got this all of this covered right where all the metal contact points are. Then once you've saturated that a little bit, then it just goes right back into the slot. You can twist it around. You'll feel it. It'll slide in. You'll know when you're in the slot. Then you just push it in and twist it, and it'll lock in place. Okay? And that's really all there is to it. And you can go ahead and slide this back inside. Just make sure you got everything clear. Alright, see how that lines up right here? That bracket lines up. And you just clip it in just like that. Those two clips clip in. Okay, and it's just that simple. You've changed the bulb, saved yourself a little money. So I'll go ahead and uh, jump out of this trunk and then I'll show you how to button everything back up. And uh, we'll go check the display and make sure that we got it. All right, I got the car uh, started and uh, I got the lights on. You can see that the lamps are all lit here. I'm going to go ahead and jump in and we'll see what we got. So, uh, all the lamps
lamps are now working and we're good to go and I went ahead and checked all my other lamps while we're at it but um, that's pretty successful I'll go ahead and show everybody the display now and show you that the uh, warning sign is gone and then we'll button up the last uh, compartment and we'll be done with this video here we are inside and you can see that the uh, warning display is now gone now I've got my mile an hour display back along with all the other uh, instrumentation. So as soon as you get it right, you're going to know it because the yellow warning lamp is going to disappear and uh, you'll no longer have that caution light there. So that all looks pretty good in here. Now we'll head back out and I'll put the last panel back on, close the trunk. All right, final step. All you got left is just take this cover, slide it right back get down into these two little sets in the bottom, push it up in, make sure it's secure, lock it in and you're done so um, if you uh, like the video and it helped you out please give us a thumbs up or better yet if you want to subscribe to the channel that would be great uh, we'd appreciate it if you have any other uh, remarks or if you'd like to see some other projects on, for some videos on YouTube please leave them down in the remarks column thanks a lot and have a great day